sewing lookbook asymmetrical summer top that's coming up. Hello fashion sewers, welcome to FSB TV, I'm Colleen G Lee and if you're new to the channel, hello, consider subscribing if you enjoy clear and concise fashion sewing tutorials and let's get started. So I'm on my next project of the 2018 summer sewing project of me making clothing, summer clothing. So I am now on my second top. The first top is this one that I made and I've done a video tutorial to that so I will put a link in the description for that top. And the second top which is also polka dots, <laughs> red polka dots. So um, this one is an asymmetrical top and it is gorgeous. I've enjoyed, I've enjoyed making this one. One of the main reasons is because I've been um, modeling this on the stand as we refer to it on, in, in England. We call it modeling on the stand and it's also known as draping on the stand. So um, this was a little bit of a challenge I haven't challenged myself in such a long time so I thoroughly enjoyed this and it is more or less like the design that I came up with and I'll also link to that video in the description so you can actually see the designs that I drew for myself for 2018, summer 2018. So I'm just going to go through a little bit on the details of this top and the hang it doesn't do it any justice. One of those tops or outfits that doesn't, the hanger no, it doesn't really give it any justice whatsoever. So towards the end of the video, I am doing a little modeling section so you can see how it hangs on my body. So the front of it, it's um, really draped. So it's got this kind of um, draping effect to one side, which is the right side of my body. And then it kind of like um, asymmetrical where it's longer on one side than it is on the other. And I've got a neckband here. And um, the neckband, if I turn it round, you can see it's got two big white buttons. So I just wanted to kind of bring that through with the white polka dot that is on the top with rouleau loops. So I'll also link to descriptions of video tutorials in which I've obviously done these techniques. So um, yeah, if you're wanting to know how to make rouleau loops, then I will leave that description, I'll leave that link in the video. I will leave the link to that in the description below, <laughs> finally. So, and to keep the top together, so it does kind of, um, the back of it has these two straps. As you can see that goes all the way up to the neckline. And then it comes to about the middle of my back. And then there is a little bow detail there. It really is fun. It really was um, a little bit of a challenge, but I love challenge. I do like to challenge myself. So, um, it's kind of awkward to, 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 to look at and to go through. So two straps at the back, a little bow detail, and you can see that there isn't much to the back, and I put all the detail and the fullness to the front of it. And one of the reasons why I'm saying this is a bit of a challenge is because I was working with shapes that was in the fabric, so once I cut this one out then I kind of worked with the shapes that were there so that I can like I say challenge myself and see what drapeness I can get from working on the stand and this was the result so um there isn't much to say other than that um no there isn't really much to say so what I'll do now is um put the link to me modeling it and showing it off as you do and yeah that's coming up now
enjoyed that little segment there of me modeling my asymmetrical drape top, which I said, you know, was really fun to make. So um, if you're new to your channel, do consider subscribing. And when you subscribe, don't forget to hit the bell. That, that will notify you of when I upload videos. The moment I upload a video, you'll get a notification. Do visit the community tab because I want to post there a lot, a lot more frequently and give you a little bit more information and detail as regards to what's happening on the channel. So I'll post information there. I've mentioned this in my previous video that I uploaded because I'm now at 20, no, I'm now at 80K, 80K, and I want to work my way up to 100K as soon as possible because YouTube are giving us new features but to get as many features as I possibly can, we need to be at eight, we need to be at hundred K. So, and I know one or two, well not one or two, there's a few of you asking for so long, so I may just, you know, go down that route, but it would be a great opportunity if I can get an opportunity to use that feature. So with all that said, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to share this video, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave any comments or questions in the comment box below and I will see you next time.